Duck and Hippo, The Secret Valentine. Written by Jonathan London, illustrated by Andrew Joyner, and read aloud by Mrs. Shapiro. Duck and Hippo, The Secret Valentine. It was Valentine's Day, and the birds were singing, Tweedledee! But Duck thought, wait, I don't have a valentine. Then, Tweedledee, I have an idea. Later that day, while Hippo was busy dusting, knock, knock, knock. Who could it be? wondered Hippo. I know it must be Duck. At least, I hope it's Duck. But when Hippo opened the door, hmm. No one was there. Then he saw a card and picked it up. There was a red rose on it above a big red heart. Hippo opened the card and read, Happy Valentine's Day. Come to the park today at 4 p.m. and bring something for your valentine. But there was no name on the card. Hippo looked all around, hoping to catch a glimpse of his valentine. Duck! Duck! he called. Are you there? But all he saw was a white feather floating down, landing softly on the ground. Meanwhile, Turtle was snoozing beside the pond, dreaming about his valentine. Suddenly, he heard a tiny splash. Sploop! He woke up and almost rolled into the water. Yikes! And there on a lily pad was a card with a big red heart on it. The heart reminded him, just a little bit, of a pizza with a slice out of it. But there was no name on the card. Turtle looked all around, hoping to catch a glimpse of his valentine. Pig, are you there? But all he saw were some birds. Tweedledee! Later, Pig was all alone, tossing pizza dough at Pig's Pizza, when she heard the bell above the door. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding! She looked, and the flying pizza landed on her head. Then she saw a card with a big red heart on it under the door, but there was no name on it. Happy Valentine's Day! Come to the park today at 4 p.m. and bring something for your valentine. Pig blushed and raced outside, hoping to catch a glimpse of her valentine. Turtle, are you there? Hush, 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 hush. But all she saw was the street sweeper. Meanwhile, Elephant was checking his mailbox, hoping to find a Valentine's Day card. And he did. Oh, boomed Elephant. Happy Valentine's Day. Come to the park today at 4 p.m. and bring something for your Valentine. But there was no name on the card. He spun on one leg, trying to catch a glimpse of his Valentine. Duck? Pig? Are you there? He got so dizzy that he fell on his trunk. Smack! He sat up and rubbed it. Then he held the card against his heart and beamed. Back at Hippo's house, the clock was ticking. Tick-tock, tick-tock. It was only one o'clock. Hippo brushed his teeth. Brush-a, brush-a, brush-a. He put on his favorite bow tie and looked in the mirror. Then he smiled so wide that his tie popped off. Boop! <laughs> At two o'clock, Turtle went outside and looked at himself in the pond. A fish looked back at him. It seemed to be blowing kisses at him. 
Smooch, smooch, smooch. Then, slowly, slowly, Turtle started walking, holding a basket filled with donuts. At three, Pig was washing off pizza dough when she realized it was time to go. scrub a dub dubba She put on her favorite blue dress and sang, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Then she put her favorite pizza in a box and taped a Valentine's Day card to the lid. At 3.30, Elephant wrapped his sore trunk around a batch of flowers and anxiously marched toward the park. At 15 minutes to four, Hippo rushed toward the park with a box of chocolates and flowers, hoping that Duck would be there. And at four o'clock, everybody showed up at the park at the exact same time. But, hmm, where, oh, where was Duck? Suddenly, Duck leaped out of a bush, danced all around, and said, Ta-da! I'm the secret valentine! Hmm. Then she gave Hippo a rose, winked, and said, The best valentines are friends! Look at how happy they are. Hooray! Everyone cheered. And they all passed around cards and chocolates and flowers and donuts and Pig's favorite pizza and yelled, the best Valentines are friends. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, isn't that sweet? Look at all the donuts. Happy Valentine's Day.